The whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves, and wiser are people so full of doubts? No people anywhere in the world would accept being expelled in mass from their own country, how can anyone require the people of Palestine to accept a punishment which nobody else would tolerate? If an opinion contrary to your own makes you angry, that is a sign that you are subconsciously aware of having no good reason for thinking as you do. The first step in a fascist movement is the combination under an energetic leader of a number of men who possess more than the average share of leisure, brutality, and stupidity. The next step is to fascinate fools and muzzle the intelligent, by emotional excitement on the one hand and terrorism on the other. Men are born ignorant, not stupid. They are made stupid by education. Life and hope for the world are to be found only in the deeds of love. Fear is the main source of superstition, and one of the main sources of cruelty. To conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. The most valuable things in life are not measured in monetary terms. The really important things are not houses and lands, stocks and bonds, automobiles and real estate, but friendships, trust, confidence, empathy, mercy, love and faith. The time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Be isolated, be ignored, be attacked, be in doubt, be frightened, but do not be silenced. Collective fear stimulates herd instinct and tends to produce ferocity toward those who are not regarded as members of the herd. The key to happiness is accepting one unpleasant reality every day. To understand the actual world as it is, not as we should wish it to be, is the beginning of wisdom. It seems to me a fundamental dishonesty, and a fundamental treachery to intellectual integrity to hold a belief because you think it's useful and not because you think it's true. Democracy is the process by which people choose the man who'll get the blame. Even when the experts all agree, they may well be mistaken. No great achievement is possible without persistent work. Belief systems provide a program which relieves the necessity of thought. If an opinion contrary to your own makes you angry, that is a sign that you are subconsciously aware of having no good reason for thinking as you do. The most savage controversies are those about matters as to which there is no good evidence either way. Persecution is used in theology, not in arithmetic, because in arithmetic there is knowledge, but in theology there is only opinion. So whenever you find yourself getting angry about a difference of opinion, be on your guard, you will probably find, on examination, that your belief is going beyond what the evidence warrants. If there were in the world today any large number of people who desired their own happiness more than they desired the unhappiness of others, we could have a paradise in a few years. Do not fear to be eccentric in opinion, for every opinion now accepted was once eccentric. War doesn't determine who's right, it determines who's left. A smile happens in a flash, but its memory can last a lifetime. The secret to happiness is to face the fact that the world is horrible. Remember your humanity and forget the rest. Cruel men believe in a cruel God and use their belief to excuse their cruelty. Only kindly men believe in a kindly God, and they would be kindly in any case. Life is just one cup of coffee after another, and don't look for anything else. A stupid man's report of what a clever man says can never be accurate, because he unconsciously translates what he hears into something he can understand.
The fact that an opinion has been widely held is no evidence whatever that it is not utterly absurd, indeed, in view of the silliness of the majority of mankind, a widely spread belief is more likely to be foolish than sensible. The greatest challenge to any thinker is stating the problem in a way that will allow a solution. Love is wise, hatred is foolish. In this world, which is getting more and more closely interconnected, we have to learn to tolerate each other, we have to learn to put up with the fact that some people say things that we don't like. We can only live together in that way. But if we are to live together, and not die together, we must learn a kind of charity and a kind of tolerance, which is absolutely vital to the continuation of human life on this planet. To be without some of the things you want is an indispensable part of happiness. Why is propaganda so much more successful when it stirs up hatred than when it tries to stir up friendly feeling? When you want to teach children to think, you begin by treating them seriously when they are little, giving them responsibilities, talking to them candidly, providing privacy and solitude for them, and making them readers and thinkers of significant thoughts from the beginning. That's if you want to teach them to think. Love should be a tree whose roots are deep in the earth, but whose branches extend into heaven. The best life is the one in which the creative impulses play the largest part and the possessive impulses the smallest. We have in fact, two kinds of morality, side by side, one which we preach, but do not practice, and another which we practice, but seldom preach. The fact that an opinion has been widely held is no evidence whatever that it is not utterly absurd. There is much pleasure to be gained from useless knowledge. If a man is offered a fact which goes against his instincts, he will scrutinize it closely, and unless the evidence is overwhelming, he will refuse to believe it. If, on the other hand, he is offered something which affords a reason for acting in accordance with his instincts, he will accept it even on the slightest evidence. The origin of myths is explained in this way. My whole religion is this, do every duty, and expect no reward for it, either here or hereafter. If you think your belief is based upon reason, you will support it by argument rather than by persecution and will abandon it if the argument goes against you. But if your belief is based upon faith, you will realize that argument is useless, and will therefore resort to force either in the form of persecution or by stunting or distorting the minds of the young in what is called education. Why repeat the old errors if there are so many new errors to commit? Neither a man nor a crowd nor a nation can be trusted to act humanely or to think sanely under the influence of a great fear. Most of the greatest evils that man has inflicted upon man have come through people feeling quite certain about something which, in fact, was false. Every great idea starts out as a blasphemy. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Next to worry probably one of the most potent causes of unhappiness is envy. People seem good while they are oppressed, but they only wish to become oppressors in their turn, life is nothing but a competition to be the criminal rather than the victim. The discipline in your life should be one determined by your own desires and your own needs, not put upon you by society or authority. Find more pleasure in intelligent dissent than in passive agreement, for, if you value intelligence as you should, the former implies a deeper agreement than the latter. Anything you're good at contributes to happiness. Most human beings, though in varying degrees, desire to control, not only their own lives but also the lives of others. 
I believe four ingredients are necessary for happiness, health, warm personal relations, sufficient means to keep you from want, and successful work. The chicken noticed that the farmer came every day to feed it. It predicted that the farmer would continue to bring food every day. Inductivists think that the chicken had extrapolated its observations into a theory, and that each feeding time added justification to that theory. Then one day the farmer came and wrung the chicken's neck. This inductively justifies the conclusion that induction cannot justify any conclusion. The experience of overcoming fear is extraordinarily delightful. The good life is one inspired by love and guided by knowledge. Organized people are just too lazy to look for things. When you are studying any matter or considering any philosophy, ask yourself only, what are the facts, and what is the truth that the facts bear out? Never let yourself be diverted by what you wish to believe, but look only and surely at what are the facts. To realize the unimportance of time is the gate to wisdom. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.